Hey Aries, my name is Crystal. I'm going to be doing a quick reading for you guys, Tarot and Oracle, see what we get, past, present, future, and then I'm going to do some actions and advice. I'm um, sorry for the noise, nothing I can do about that. I don't want to be stuck in the basement with the birds and stuck in the living room with all five of my kids. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to pull the cards and then I'm going to um, read them all. Alright, it says your dreams need a practical plan. That was for the past. Oops. Oops. All right. Okay. While shuffling, surrender to the divine popped out, and this was on the bottom of the deck, and it's back on the bottom of the deck. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. Pisces. I don't know if you're dealing with Pisces, but I don't know. That popped out two times, both on the bottom of the deck, and then surrender to the divine. So that's two main things that need to be heard, all right? So anyway, in your past, it says your dreams need a practical plan. I don't know if you were trying to start a business or trying to do something new or whatever it was, but whatever dreams that you were having, it needed to have a little, um, it needed some fixing up. In, fixing up. <laughs> okay. All right. I am just going to be pulling these cards in this kind of going as we go. All right, so you have the four swords for your past, the hangman, and then the ace of wands. All right, I feel like, you know, you may have had some time to kind of, you may have needed some time to kind of sit back and think what you really wanted in life because you were feeling like things were getting nowhere with the hangman. You were feeling stagnant. Things were not working out for you. You know what I mean? So I think you went back, you sat about it, you meditated about it, and you thought really long and hard, and you kind of found a new inspiration a new idea, something new that you're really into, somebody new that you're really into, something new that you're into. What is this Ace of Wands about? Three of Pentacles. Okay, building a business, maybe teamwork, me, um, yeah, Queen of Swords, seeing clear. Okay, so in the past, um, you, you're finally opening your eyes about something or someone, all right, in whatever situation it says, friends, family, co-workers, boss, I always say this, take it for whatever situation it means to you, just use it in that text. Whatever. Okay, so the Queen of Swords just tells me that you're able to see clear now. That Four of Swords really helped you with that meditating and really taking some time back to think. Really helped take away all the confusion for you and it helped you uh, to open your eyes and see more clear. Um, I feel like you are trying to build something, build a new business. Uh, maybe you have other people with you. It could also mean that, you know, there was... Um, teamwork in some type of way okay like your soul family or just I feel like building a business though okay your current you have a new start is coming and the nine of cups whatever you were wishing for is this new start that is coming okay we'll get some more about that what is this comfortability the empress you could end up being pregnant but this can also just say that you're going to be comfortable now you were wishing for comfortability you were wishing for long-term stability forward movement because you were feeling stuck with the stagnation card um, public recognition, success, um, forward movement again, and Nine of Swords, I feel like you're stressed about this whole entire new move, um, but I feel like you're going to get everything that you wish for, so it's like, don't allow that stress to kind of stop you in whatever situation that you're going through, you know what I mean? I feel like whatever you are trying to leave behind, or whatever you opened your eyes, obviously you're leaving something behind, because something's new is starting, a new start is coming, so whatever's going to left behind, I feel like you're stressing out about it, or you're just worrying about the future, not knowing what's to come, and it's scary. But, you know what I mean, you have success, okay, over all the struggles. Then you have eight of wands. This can also mean communication is coming for you. It could mean towards a job. It could mean from other people. It could mean, you know, maybe you're waiting on, like, you know, an application for, like, a job or a house or something like that. But I do feel like that's coming for you, too. And you were wishing for long-term stability and the empress, which is comfortability, being happy, being stable, being fine within yourself. You know what I mean? Believing in yourself, knowing that you are all that you need. And then you have, for the future, you have the chariot, <laughs> take time to breathe out, so it's like, don't worry, you know, whatever you're leaving behind is going to help you um, to be able to relax, you'll be able to feel free, is what I just felt like saying. Magician, I feel like you have all the tools that you need in the future to do what you got to do, so use them, you know what I mean? If you have thoughts, if you have creative ideas, money making ideas, it's like, put that to use and go with it, you never know until you actually do it, right? You can make money doing anything now. Um, the death card transformation lots of transformation and the queen of wands 
Okay, fire energy in here. It's actually, um, this is just saying that you're going to be back on top. You're going to have your power back, transformed also, changed into a bigger, better person, brighter, smarter, wiser, whatever, um, somebody with a lot more wisdom, all right? And you're not going to be the same as you were before. Obviously, you've grown up, you're matured, you learned a lot. You're not going to do a lot of the same things that you did in the past or allow others to do the same thing to you that other people did to you in the past. You learned a lot, right? The Queen of Wands just tells me that you're going to be, this is something that is just like, being bold, being brave now, standing up for yourself, standing up for the underdog, you know what I mean, doing what's right, all right, so the future, you got some good cards, and then your actions and advice is surrender to the divine, so if you're trying to fight this ending, right, it's like, no, just allow things to happen, you know what I mean, go with the flow, once you do that, it's a lot less stress, a lot less stress, a lot less worrying, I think you're worried about, like, the control of things, like, not having things the way that you want it, or not ending up the way that you're expecting, but just know that when we leave it to the universe, the universe prepares it to like the best way that we can even imagine. You know what I mean? Something way better than what we were even thinking that we were even able to get. You know what I mean? Then it says have faith in your dreams. If you feel like things are not really moving forward because you're feeling like they're feeling stuck, right? It's like have faith in your dreams. Have, go away. I don't want to hear that YouTube right there. Have faith in your dreams, all right? So it's like, you know... Just know that things are going to work at work for you. Don't lose faith. Don't lose hope. Keep that, all right? Because as long as you keep the faith and keep the hope, you know what I mean, it'll come. But once you give up and you think it's never going to happen, then it doesn't come. This is saying there's a decision that needs to be made. Actions and advice, all right? Whatever you're thinking about, whatever you've been thinking long and hard on, it's like make that decision. Stop waiting, you know what I mean? And just go ahead and make the move. I don't know what you're waiting for, but the Hierophant, yeah, okay, maybe... <laughs> One second. Sorry about that. So I do feel like you have a decision to make, all right, within this um, for the future. And it's like, it's, do you want to keep on allowing other people and other situations to keep on making you feel like hurt and disappointed, sad, wounded, all right, always having to, like, pick yourself back up? I feel like you have to make a decision to yourself. It's like, you know... <clears throat> What am I going to keep on allowing in my life? And what am I not going to allow in my life anymore? And you know what I mean? Listen to your intuition. This can also be involved in a marriage or some type of long-term situation that you're going through, right? Family, jobs, whatever, love. <clears throat> but I feel like, and this is also actions and advice. So you may need to go to somebody for some type of guidance. Maybe you need some help. Maybe you might need to have, you know, listen to other people's advice. Doesn't mean you have to take it. You can listen to it. You know what I mean? But just make sure you um, really listen to your intuition for the most part. All right? Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. Focus on yourself. You or all that you need. I just said that. The Empress and her Nine of Pentacles are kind of like the same to me. It's just saying that all your hard work is going to pay off. And it's all because of what you're doing. You know what I mean? You can also be a mother. So you may have kids with this person if it is love. All right? Then you have the Strength card. This just tells me that you have the strength to be able to be able to overcome anything, so don't allow yourself to fall, okay, because you will be able to pick yourself back up, you do all the time, especially with the nine of wands, the world is the ending of this, the last card, too, the ending um, of a cycle and the beginning of a new one, all right, so it's like, you know, out with the old, in with the new, here we go with a new start, I think I said that the last time, <laughs> But anyway, it's just saying, you know, new story is coming for you. It's success, too. So whatever you're working on, this could be your dreams that it's talking about. It's like if you keep on pushing forward and you keep on believing in yourself, have hope, have faith in yourself, knowing that things are going to happen for you, then they will, okay? Then I'm just going to pull. I was going to pull. But I don't have the other ones. I don't know where I went. It's magical. All right, passion and pleasure, savor your life. All right? And then transformation at the bottom of the deck, a fresh new way of living emerges. So, yeah, a whole entire new start is coming for you. Transform, just like the death card, okay? You're a whole new person now. So try not to allow the past mistakes or not even say mistakes because everything happens for a reason and we learn from them. So just don't allow the past, you know, stuff, like all the bad stuff, anxiety, stress, and all that to come into your future, you know what I mean? Because you don't want to do that <laughs> anyway that's what i got for you guys thank you for watching and have a good day bye